You are looking live. Here comes the play. Goodman at the free throw line. Jumper. Oh! Again! Oh! He broke his ankles! He is Houdini! Mickey Mantle don't care about you, so why should you care about him? Nobody cares. <laughs> no. You don't like that cop. I don't like that cop. Woo! 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 divisional round last week if you didn't watch it then you're not an nfl fan you're not a football fan just stop claiming you're, you're a football fan if you didn't watch it because if you didn't watch any of it the divisional round it kicked butt last week right the wild card round kind of stunk there were some blowouts like the chiefs kicked the steelers butt uh bills like destroyed the patriots you know the the, the Bengals raiders was like the only really good game the Niners beat the Cowboys. That I mean, that came down on the wire at the end, but that was kind of a stinker. The Buccaneers took care of the Eagles. Like that wasn't all that great. Excuse me. Um, so you know, and the Rams destroyed the Cardinals. Like there was just there wasn't very many good games. The wild card round, or sorry, the divisional round made up for it. So yeah, the wild card round stunk. The divisional round ruled. <laughs> um, Cincinnati beat Tennessee 19 to 16. San Francisco beat Green Bay 13 to 10. The Rams beat the Buccaneers 30 to 27, and the Chiefs beat the Bills in overtime 42 to 36. And you might be thinking, yeah, those games sound close, but all of the games, one possession games, they all were won on the last play of the game. You know the the. Rams, Niners, and Bengals won on game-winning, uh, on field goals as time expired, and then the Chiefs scored a touchdown in overtime to win the game, which was resulted in some people questioning the overtime rules, which we'll get to later. But um, the, the, the Rams-Buccaneers, that game was crazy. And the Rams had a 27-3 lead, right? And I was thinking to myself, oh boy, right? There, there's no way Brady does this kind of comeback twice, right? Because in the Super Bowl a few years ago, we all know the Falcons, 28 to three, they blew the lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got you, right? Rams were up 27 to three. I thought Brady's not doing this again. Rams have this in control. Buccaneers score. They get a stop. They score again. They get a stop. They score again. Rams fumble. They score again, and before we know it, it's tied at 27. And I thought, oh, my God, no way. This is – this is. I was like, I've seen – like, how can you come back from 24, 25-point deficits twice in, in postseason, right? It's just incredible. And then the Rams said, nope, nope, nope. We're not – you're not doing this again, Tom. No way. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. They set up Matt Gay for the 30-yard game-winning field goal, and the Rams punched their ticket to the NFC Championship game. Whew! And if and if you were winded by then, right, the Niners game was crazy. Robbie Gold kicks the game-winning field goal after the Niners score on a punt on a blocked punt touchdown. Bengals won in a tight in a, in a in a tight one over the Titans. That was the day prior. And at that point, you're thinking, man, I don't think my heart can take any more. But up. Oh, Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We're here for round four for the Bills and Chiefs. You know, you better be strapped in your seat. Don't go anywhere because this game's going to be fun. And uh, it lived up to the hype. Teams went, they just went back and forth, back and forth. And the fourth quarter seems more like a hockey shootout than it did a, a football game. And what I mean by that is it was just going up and down the field. Score, score, score. Field goal, field goal. Touchdown, touchdown. I mean, it was just absolutely insane. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it in my life. The Chiefs Bills game on Sunday, forget, may have top 10 playoff games, not, not even top 10 playoff games, top 10 football game ever. Re, you know, regular season, postseason, preseason, spring game, whatever. That game was without a doubt top five best game ever. And I know all the, all the, uh, well, all the people with, thinning hair or gray hair, I'm like, no, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. You know, you didn't, you know, you didn't watch the, the ice bowl or whatever. You know, you didn't watch the, the fog bowl. You didn't watch the 86 bears. Uh, you didn't see, you know, all right, all right. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the Bills Chiefs game, top five, right? 
we can talk about the other four games. Okay, you, you know, sure. They were great back in the 90s, 80s, 70s, whatever. But Chiefs-Bills, that game, I can't, I can't get over it. That game happened on Sunday. It is now Wednesday, and I still cannot, like, I, I just cannot fathom how that game ended. And Josh Allen played arguably a perfect, just perfect game, not even for a game, but perfect two games, and he didn't even make it to the AFC Championship game. He had 329 yards and four touchdowns. And you might, you might have thought, well, wow, Stephon Diggs may have had himself a night. No, he did not. It was Gabriel Davis. Who? Exactly. Gabriel Davis, a guy that I kind of knew that he was like a person, you know. But he came out and had 10 receptions, 201 yards, and four touchdowns. <laughs> oh, okay, he's just going to go out and do that like it's nothing. He had himself a night. That was crazy. And, uh, yeah. Stephon Diggs, three receptions for seven yards. Not, uh, I mean, you know, Gabriel Davis kind of ate all the yards and touchdowns, so there wasn't really much left to kind of give to everybody else. But Stephon Diggs, right, there was that picture of him from a year before where he, you know, watched the Chiefs celebrate going to the, um, that was the AFC Championship game, I believe. Um, right? I, I believe I believe so. Yeah, it was because they played the Ravens in the Divisional and then they played the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. So, there was a picture of Diggs at the AFC Championship game after the Chiefs won, right, watching the Chiefs celebrate and all that good stuff. And everybody was like, oh, you know, that, that's him, right? Determination, he's coming back for revenge, right? He waited all that time to get three receptions, seven yards. Oh, and don't forget about that one fan that he tackled. He absolutely leveled that clown. So for him, I mean, talk about, talk about frustration. He, he must be frustrated out of his mind right now. Not only... Was it like, you know, yeah, we're coming back. It was three receptions, seven yards, one tackled fan, and a exit before the before the uh, AFC Championship game. I mean, I, what can you do, though? The Chiefs are the Chiefs, right? I mean, Patrick Mahomes, you know, doing his thing. Travis Kelsey saying, I'm not going to do what the coaches tell me. I'm going to run my own route. And Mahomes is like, yes, yes, do it. And then they go and win the game. Like, you can't make this stuff up. The Chiefs, like, how do you beat them? Honestly, how on how on earth do you beat this team in the postseason? I mean, the only reason the Buccaneers beat them in the Super Bowl last year is because their offensive line was injured. They had no offensive line. They were all on, on injured reserve. They were all on the sideline. They were all, all watching the game from home. But, I mean, like, on a, on a game plan level, how do you beat this team in the postseason? Right? I mean, regular season is one thing. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But, like, this is a question that, you know, so many times I'll ask myself kind of rhetorical questions on, on, on the show or whatever. This is a real question. How on earth do you beat this Chiefs team in the postseason? I, I don't know that, you know, unless they're injured to death, right? And even last year when they didn't have an offensive line, they still went to the Super Bowl. So... I mean, are, are you just hoping that Patrick Mahomes is going to wear himself out out there? I mean, that that's just, it's crazy. This team is crazy. And, you know, sure, you can talk about how, how great the New England Patriots were over the years um, with their dynasty. But, like, the Ch and you thought, wow, we're never going to see that again, right? Well, no, we are going to see that again because we are already seeing it again where the Chiefs are on the brink of making their third straight Super Bowl. The Chiefs have gone to their, what, fourth straight AFC championship game. The Chiefs have won the AFC West, I believe, four or five years in a row. Like, we haven't seen this since Brady and the, and the Patriots. And again, people were saying, there's no way, we're, not, we're never going to see this again. No, we're seeing it again. And we are seeing it again from a quarterback that, you know, is still relatively young. And, again, I, I, that's my question. How do you beat this team in the postseason? I don't know if you can, other than if they're injured. I, I, I don't know there's a way that you can beat this team healthy, if you can beat a healthy Chiefs team in the postseason. So, yeah, the overtime rules, right? You cannot talk about the Chiefs-Bills game without mentioning overtime. 
And there were some people that said, you know, the Bills, you know, there's nothing wrong with the overtime rules. Bills just need to make a stop in that scenario. Um, no. The overtime rules need to be changed. And if you disagree, I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously. <laughs> you know, I, I can't seriously believe that you like football if you think the overtime rules should just stay the same. I, I, I cannot level with you on that one. I'm sorry. Because who watched that? Just think about it this way. When you were at home watching that game, who on earth was watching that Bills and Chiefs game after it was over and said, all right, that was enough. Like, okay, that was a good game. Man, wow, you know, all right. You know, I'm, I'm, glad it, I'm glad it ended there because, you know, it should not have gone on any longer. Like, you know, that was perfect. That was, you know, right where it should have ended. Anybody with a brain was like, give us more. I want more. You know, it's like after you eat a really good meal and you go up for seconds. Everybody everybody with a brain, everybody that likes football, even a teensy bit, was like, no, I want more. I want this game to go all night long like Lionel Richie. All night. Right? Whether that means the game ends in a 142-138 score, I, I don't care. Stephen A. Smith, I'm here to tell you right now, I don't care. Anybody who likes football was like, no, just just let them play till somebody, you know, just let them play all night. Let them, let them keep playing, right? Because it wasn't just the fact that they were scoring a lot. It was the excitement in which they scored where it was, was you know, we were coming down to the, the end of regulation. And it was, oh, is Patrick Mahomes going to leave too much time on the clock for Josh Allen? And then Allen takes the Bills down the field in like a minute. And then it was, oh, he's going to leave too much time for Mahomes. And then Mahomes goes down the field in like 30 seconds. And then it was, oh, he just left too much time for Josh Allen. And then the, the Bills come down the field. They score. And it was, wow, 13 seconds. Is Mahomes going to be able to get it done? And what do you know? Mahomes and the Chiefs get in field goal range from their own 25 with 13 seconds left. I've never seen anything like that before. I, I believe there were like 20-some 20, 20 combined points scored in like the final two minutes of the fourth quarter. When's the last time you've seen that? I mean that game that was the most incredible finish to a to a to a game in regulation that I've ever seen in my life. The fact that again, it wasn't just the fact that, you know, oh, they were able to score and make it exciting. It was it was the tight windows that Josh Allen was throwing to. It was it was the Gabriel Davis breaking the the Chiefs defenders' ankles. It was you know, Mahomes taking his team down to tie it up with a field goal to send it to overtime. Again, in 13 seconds. May I remind you that Dak Prescott in 14 seconds with no timeouts needing to get into field goal range? Actually, no, they need a touchdown. But Dak Prescott had 14 seconds. And what what did the Cowboys do? <laughs> they went for a quarterback draw and uh, let you know didn't run out of bounds. Um, the Chiefs went you know, what, 50 yards in 13, in that same amount of time and kicked a field goal to send it to overtime? I mean, absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. 